And each and every day, depending upon where you're at, what you're going through, how you're feeling is going to be really how you also gather that spiritual part of you and help move you into some of these places that might be where you want to be, like more blissful, more joyful, even more happy, more satisfied with all the stuff I'm going through in my life. Welcome back to another episode of Enthusiastically Spiritual. I'm your host, Teresa. There's some key words that are being thrown around a lot in the spiritual community these days, like dimensions, moving from 5th to 7th to 12th to 50th, (laughs) ascension. How quickly can you ascend? How quickly can you really tap into yourself and rise up like Jesus or Buddha? And some of these key words and phrases Well, for myself, they're not real practical because as humans being as souls in physical bodies and having this human experience, we really need to understand how to make all of it practical. So there's a key word that's really prevalent right now for myself that I really want to share with you in this episode. And it's the key word of bliss. So bliss also is a big one, kind of like joy, even like enthusiasm. Like, I mean, how many days do you wake up and go, you know what? Crap, Teresa, I'm not enthusiastic today. Like there's a lot of crap going on in my life. And how do I capture that enthusiasm? How do I capture that bliss? How do I capture that joy for what I'm going through in life right now? And to move through my day with paying the bills, taking the kids to their 50 different errands they need to run, making lunch, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I mean, like all of it takes a toll on us, right? So the word bliss and the other keywords, ascension and joy, and even enthusiasm, they are really keys to your intimate journey with yourself. And each and every day, depending upon where you're at, what you're going through, how you're feeling is going to be really how you also gather that spiritual part of you and help move you into some of these places that might be where you want to be, like more blissful, more joyful, even more happy, more satisfied with all the stuff I'm going through in my life. So working with these go- with this in goal and this in mind, you know, it's really about step by step. And it's really about not not, um, comparing your journey to anyone else's journey out there, that you're unique, you've got your own journey, and step by step, you only know how you can reach those other potentials of enthusiasm and joy and bliss and love and harmony within you. So some of those aspects are reasons why I do this podcast, because I love bringing on guests that really have unique perspectives and different services out in the world that you may or may not resonate with. So recently I was at a a metaphysical affair with Tom and TNT Spirit Works, and I really shared with a lot of people the different aspects of mind, body, and spirit, and how depending upon where you're at in your journey will really depend upon what you want to really tap into and where you're really ready to go to. Like how wide open are you to exploring where you're at in your mind right now? How wide open are you to exploring your physical body and, you know, the aches and pains and how to make it healthier and stronger? And how are you with really tapping into that wide open space of the spiritual part of your journey? So in doing this work, I really love to share again how I bring on these people every single month you know, week after week to have these amazing services. And in the upcoming month, I've got some really dynamic souls who are coming on to share. And one of them, the first one is Dr. Winnie Wong. She is a medical intuitive and an acupuncturist. She's out in California and her main service at right now really is helping people understand about working with the shadow aspect of who we are and helping you move through some of those dark areas, some of those hidden things that we have within us from maybe our childhood and maybe even, if you believe in this, past lives. I mean, all these areas of ourselves that are really hidden in the shadow. And so she's really tuning in and she's honestly, she's on a mission from God. (laughs) Hello. (laughs) She really is on a mission to help people move through things, to help people understand where they're at, what they're going through and how to move through that. So that's going to be an amazing, powerful episode coming up soon. The next one is with a beautiful soul named Odile Remert. 
And she is also about helping you move through some of your past issues of beliefs and subconscious crapola that's in our system through subconscious reprogramming and really looking back at when you were a child, what did you go through? What did you experience? What really affected you to your core that you need some shifting on this area now? And I'll be honest with you, in being out in the monks, especially this past weekend in the psychic fair and seeing what everyone's out there doing and what other people are doing also out in the world in podcasts and different things, this is the hot topic right now, is really tapping into your subconscious through either hypnosis or through these reprogramming um, programs people have or acupuncture and really accessing this deep level. So I guess what I want to share is that, you know, like right now as a collective and where we're at energetically, it's really, it's like a bro, it's like being like um, wide open, like being broke open. And so all these things are coming to the surface now and it is a divine time to step into and heal pieces and parts of you if you're ready, because it's your journey and it's step by step and you can choose however you want to move forward. But there is a, a big um, aspect right now to doing this deeper work, to accessing these shadow sides of us and really being able to heal in order to move forward for what's coming next in your journey. So besides those two amazing souls, I also have another episode of our monthly What's Up Spiritually with TNT Spirit Works. That's going to be where Tom and I come on and just kind of share what we're noticing that's going on in the collective and what's going on energetically and, and different ways that you can use the practical side of spirituality to work it with what's going on now and moving forward in your journey. And then the last person this coming month is Michael Andre Ford, who is an angel intuitive, and he helps people communicate with angels as well as he communicates with angels and brings through messages. And I'll tell you what, this guy, he is, he is dynamic and he is passionate and absolutely enthusiastic about connecting with angels and helping you get those messages that you may need for your journey. So as you can tell, the next month and the next few people coming up are really a wide variety of amazing souls and their services coming on to share with you. So I don't know about you, but I'm excited and I can feel that inner bliss for myself as these people come on to share because just like you being here right now, we're all showing up. We're all being here to really explore what's going on, to heal, to be present in our amazing journeys. And so these next three or four weeks that these people are coming on to share are going to be just great times to get in tune with who you are as a soul, what you're here to do, connecting with your inner guidance, understanding your purpose and your spiritual thrust. And then the ultimate goal that I ask you to embrace is more spiritual freedom for what you've come to do. Because I don't know about you, but um, I want to feel free while I'm here. And I want to really embrace more of that wide open, intimate part of me so I can really feel the bliss and the, the love that's that I have within me and sharing that with others, which I know you have within you. So if you are in a place where you are trying to access you know, more even enthusiasm, like I said, getting out of bed, what the hell, what am I doing? <laughs> How can I, you know, move forward with what I have going on in my life? You can also check out tntspiritworks.com. You can check out our events page. We've got a lot of really cool events coming up in the Midwest of America. If you're not in America, you can continually, obviously, listen to this podcast. You can connect with me on TNT Spirit Works. We've got some one-on-one -on -one consultations that I can help move you into understanding more about your psychic perceptions, understanding more about your personal team of spiritual helpers that you work with, and other ways too. So you can always check out tntspiritworks.com. And so I hope that you really embrace and enjoy these next guests that have come on in the next month, um, the energy they're bringing forth, their amazing services, and their really ability to help you really rock the heck out of your journey and understand more about your healing and how you can heal and move forward in a divine, divine way. So that's just this mini morsel episode, everyone. Thank you so much for listening wherever you're at in the world. I'm sending my love and enthusiasm to you, hoping that you're having a good journey wherever you're at. And if you've not subscribed to this podcast, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button. 
please share this episode or this podcast with friends and family. Let them know that, hey, there's people out in the world really sharing about how to make spirituality practical and how to really embrace more of who you are as a spiritual being in a physical body. So until next week, please remember that life is too short to not be enthusiastic about your unique journey.